Has this happened to you? Pull out one of your favorite skillets and you realize it's rusty. What's happening is a seasoning is coming off, it's flaking off. So the rest of the skillet, it's beautiful. Just need to address this. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna heat it up a little bit, get it warm. And then we're gonna add just a dash of canola oil. Use your favorite. If you want bacon grease, flax seed, grape seed, whatever, use your favorite. And we're gonna use some coarse salt. Um, this is just sea salt. I'm gonna use some coarse salt in a shop rag, clean shop rag. And we're gonna give her a little elbow grease, show her a little bit of love. We're starting to get a little warm. We wanna get it warm so that way the oil becomes viscous. What? Yes, it becomes more fluid. Uh, you know, you could put cold oil on there and it would it'd move around, but when it's warm oil, it's going to be able to move a lot, a lot easier and help that salt get in there and, and work like a scrubby. Been just a few minutes. I got the heat on medium. You can feel and you're starting to get a little warm here. It's okay because our sides are okay. It's the bottom. The bottom's where we're getting warm and that's where we want. So then we'll cut the heat down to low. Let's take us a little bit of this canola oil. Just a bit. Boom. Oop, that's a little too much. It'll be all right. We'll work with it. Take us a little bit of our sea salt. You can use kosher salt if you want. That's fine. Take your rag. And just scrub away. Now you can say, Bear, why do I got to use a shop rag? You could use a paper towel, but it's going to fall apart. You could use your favorite dish towel, but if it's your wife's favorite dish towel, you're going to be in trouble. Because we're going to pull all that stuff off. Now, what about using a scrubby? Like a, a green scotch brat pack. You could. The issue, the thing you got to watch with that is you dig in too deep. And you remove more than just the areas we're looking at removing. We just want to remove that surface rust not all the seasoning could you uh hit it with a grinder i don't recommend it um it's your pan do what you want with it but if you use a grinder you're going to end up re-seasoning the whole pan there's many different ways this will actually help with you know how everybody complains about the roughness of your cast iron of the new lodges I've only had this one a couple years, and it's pretty pretty smooth. This will actually help knock down and smooth that out some. So just scrub away. And look at it in the light, and make sure you get it all out of there. Looks like I don't know about y'all, but that looks good to me. Let's just get down here in the corners while we're at it and see what else we can. All right, let's wipe this out. Let me uh, dump. Dump our salt. Look at all that. Can you all see that? 
Let me dump our salt in the trash and uh, be right back. All right, so I just dumped the salt in the trash. I'm back. You see where we're at? We've got a good, good little layer of oil still in there. You can't see any, any spots. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kick my burner up to medium. I'm gonna let this whole pan heat up. I want this pan to get hot. I don't wanna get searing hot. Like I'm not gonna kick it up on high cause I don't need to. I kick it up on medium, it'll get hot enough. I let it stay on here 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. The whole thing will get hot. This oil that's on there will carbonize and we'll be good to go. And this is called a stove top seasoning. Um, and you say, okay, Bear, because Billy's going to ask me, <clears throat> my friend Billy, he's going to ask me, well, if you got it on medium, how do you know that that's hot enough and you don't have to put it on high? I'm going to take my little Blackstone IR gun and we're going to shoot this pan. I've been on medium for a few minutes and boom, showing, oops. We're showing 400 degrees right around, give or take this pan, all the way around. So what that's telling me is we're about four, four to 425 across this, the bottom of this whole pan. This is where I want to season. So as you can see, we're, we're kind of getting some dry spots. That's where it's the hottest and probably where you can see some of the, the flaking. I don't know if you can see that, where, where some of it had flaked off. Not all of it. I, I believe it's salvageable. So we're just going to, we're going to go with it. And we'll just run this around. Any of the, the, the cone, canola oil that was still left on there, we're just smoothing it around so it, we don't get any kind of uneven seasoning, if that makes sense. And then we're just going to let it go and we're going to check it back with it in about 15 minutes and see what happens. Alright, so it's been about 20-25 uh, minutes. We cut the heat off. It's sitting there. You can see all the oil. It's not wet anymore. The pan's dry. Everything's good. Um, you can tell it looks pretty good. Don't see any rust spots. So, that's what we call a little bit of uh, stove top seasoning. A little bit of maintenance. A little bit of TLC. And uh, hopefully that helps somebody out. Have a great week.